I'm Sarah the Gardener, and we are here in the greenhouse because it is windy out there. Uh, I've been working out there, I've been doing lots of digging and weeding and weeding and digging and what else? Digging and weeding. Uh, so, but it's just a minute. Lemongrass, basil. These are my cukes, pumpkins, and melons. I only just planted them, so we're still waiting for them to come up. These are my flowers. I've only just planted those. And chickpeas and peanuts. There is nothing to see here. These are kofi trees. They're doing really well. And here we have tomatoes, peppers, red cabbage, okra, cape gooseberry, a forest of tomatoes, and a forest of peas, and brassicas, loads of brassicas, loads of peppers, more peppers, I don't know if I need this many, spinach that desperately needs to go into the garden. And so does these brassicas, loads of brassicas, all different kinds. Links. Is a raspberry cutting? No. Is a red currant cutting? Cape gooseberry. It's my carobs. That's the best one. That's the best carob. Here I have a kumra or a sweet potato, and it's soaking in water creating these shoots that I then put in a jar of water and they root so they look like they almost need a feed of something because they're just in water and there's a lot of them and we have more seedlings over here more flowers more melons cucumbers and there's some tomatoes over the back there so do you think I have enough that's a lot going on in here but it's good to see. I just wanted to show you how I started off my seeds and my tomatoes and all the rest. Uh, I start them off in these little tiny, you can see my finger, um, size of the seed trays. It's got seed raising mix in it because number one, seeds, now um, seeds are really tiny, well most of them anyway, and also um, so uh, they have all the nutrients they need in the seeds, so they don't need a rich, nutrient-rich um, environment with which to start growing because the seed gives it everything it needs to get to this point. And so um, I use a seed-raising mix, which is a low, um, a, a low nutrient mix that's been perfectly blended for raising seeds. Uh, and then what I do is I normally sit... A tray like this on um, in a tray with damp newspaper underneath so that the and water it from below so that, that it stays moist by wicking the moisture up through the seed raising mix the whole time so it just gets the right amount and then the seeds come up now the point at with which I transfer them from the seed raising mix because they will get to a point where their roots will need more food at the moment they don't need it and if it's too rich in there they'll burn this is a good size to transfer them from the seed raising mix. You can see he's got his true leaves. See these ones here are the seed leaves and that's what's supported them so far. And then now they've got their true leaves and they need to start creating their own energy. So this is a good size to move them into something a little bigger. 
Once they get a little bit bigger, I'd say with two sets of true leaves, true leaves, now none of these actually have two sets of true leaves yet, um, then I'll move them into a pot this size um, and let them grow. Now the thing is, if you think of it like um, feeding a baby, you start out with the milk and you know it's gentle it's perfect for what the baby needs at that point but then you have to wean them onto the solids and get them to eat real food so at this point i've just got them in potting mix it's not too spicy it's just like you know baby food solids um it's just ever so gentle um when i move them into this pot maybe i'll put a bit of compost and a bit of fertilizer in there just to give them a um, a taste of real food and then and this all happens really quickly so it happens in the space of about a month three weeks um, then they'll start to get big and strong and too big for this one and a good point when then you can see that they're too big for this pot is the roots will start showing at the bottom but what I'll do then is I'll move them into a pot this size and so and this will have this will be a good you know half compost half potting mix loads of good fertilizer and things in there um, and this will be the one that i use to get them ready for the big garden um, and they'll be hardened off to go outside from these pots uh, now the thing is you don't want to use um dirt from outside in your in your seedlings because they are babies and there are germs and things like that and they won't cope so you've got to think of it like a controlled environment. It is a nursery after all. Um, and so that's how I take care of my wee seedlings from seed to getting ready to go in the garden. Um, I hope this is really helpful to you because it can be quite confusing. The main reason I start from little next up, next up, next up, other than giving me something to do over the waiting period before it's safe to plant them out is um, if you just give the roots a little bit of space each time to get a little bit bigger and a little bit bigger then you get sturdy good strong lee, um, roots but if I went straight from here to here then the roots would just go woohoo and they'd run to the edges and they'd be all thin and leggy and more prone to disease and not so strong. You want strong solid roots. They're going to anchor some pretty big plants and so you need to make sure that they have a, a good solid start. It's like if you don't give them, if you don't give your seedlings enough light then they go all thin and leggy looking for it. Um, and so you need short stocky plants like these ones to actually have a strong plant um, and it's the same with the roots you, you don't want them running and getting all leggy you, you want just solid solid little stocky roots to get a healthier plant so that's my tip for this week i hope this helps so that's my tour of my greenhouse hopefully next week it won't be so windy and i can show you a garden that has been completely made over with no weeds well he's hoping i mean you never know so come again soon and have a fabulous week and thank you so much for watching take care bye, -bye.